Hello, I'm Jason Brown and today I'm going to be explaining how to find out if you have a 64 or a 32-bit operating system. So we'll start off with the most popular operating systems, Windows 7 and Windows Vista. Basically, it's exactly the same method in both of these operating systems. Click Start and you're going to see Computer here right click on computer, click properties and then the systems properties window opens. Now under system you're going to see the windows experience rating, your processor, installed memory and then you're going to see system type and here it's a 64-bit operating system. If you have a 32-bit operating system it says 32-bit operating system and it's really as simple as that. You probably only want to install a 64-bit operating system if you have 4 gigabytes of RAM or more if you have less than 4 gigabytes, then it's probably not worth installing 64-bit, may as well just stick with 32. And some processors don't work on 64-bit. You can see the i5 here does, and most of the processors made in the past 5 to 6 years do. So the general rule of thumb is, is that if you have a computer made within the past 5 to 6 years, it's going to be 64-bit. But that's just the easy way to check. On Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 the process is much the same. Simply go into this PC or if you're on Windows 8 computer and then you may notice that the ribbon here is uh, hidden so just click this little button here to open it and then click system properties and then just the same as in Vista and 7 you can see the under system, system type, you can see the uh, operating system architecture that you have installed so here we can see that I have a 64-bit operating system once again. If you're still running on Windows XP and you want to find out if you have a 32 or a 64-bit version of it, it's usually safe to assume that you have 32-bit. This is because there were only one or two versions of Windows XP which were 64-bit and they really were quite scarce. And if you're still running on Windows XP, it's probably safe to assume that your computer can't run a 64-bit operating system. So if you wanted to upgrade to Windows 8.1, then it'd probably be best to download and install the 32-bit version. But if you think you may be the odd one out and have a 64-bit version of XP, you're probably going to notice that your boot splash screen looks a little bit like this, rather than looking a little bit like this. And then once you're at the Windows desktop, you can click Start, you can right-click on my computer, go to Properties, and if you do have a 64-bit version of XP, like I do, you're going to see that it says Microsoft Windows XP Professional X64 Edition, and this was the most popular 64-bit version of XP. There was another one, but don't worry about that. And if you have a 32-bit version of XP, you're going to notice that your system property looks very similar, only it's going to say Microsoft Windows XP Professional or Home Edition or Media Center Edition. So thank you for watching my video on how to determine if you have a 32 or a 64-bit operating system. Thank you for watching.